how many insects died so that you could eat that pizza? Ladybirds, bugs, things, mice, rats, all these other little creatures that are in the crop, they get destroyed in the production of, of wheat crops, right? So that you guys can munch your bread. When some idiot asks you this question, don't get mad, get logical. The usual default answer I hear from many vegans to this question is Veganism is not about perfection, it's about doing the best that you can. Or most insects die to produce the crops fed to the animals that you eat. Both of which are true, but both kind of put you in an awkward position because you haven't explained why killing insects to make pizza is reasonable. So a step further than this would be the vegan response. I appreciate the point where you're suggesting that the insects are being killed, but what we need to realise is the intent behind it. Nobody's intending to kill insects necessarily for us to eat bread. However, when you're eating a steak or whatever, the intent is very much there. You're deliberately killing that animal. No, but hang on. But again, you set yourself up for vulnerability when they go down the pathway of the use of pesticides is intentionally destroying insect populations or whatever. So more than likely what will happen at this point is that the non-vegan will tell you how you're a hypocrite because you are causing needless suffering to insects which isn't vegan. And this is why it's important not to mention needless suffering or other vague words of obligation like unjustified or unnecessary, because one, those words are so vague and can literally mean anything and can be mapped onto any moral compass. Um, and two, those words will more than likely come back to bite you in the arse when the non-vegan flips the same words back onto you, i.e. you too are causing needless suffering, vegan. Those, a those animals have been hung upside down and slaughtered in an unnecessary these are, way. These little animals have been mown to pieces. Yeah. So if you don't say those words, then the needless suffering hypocrite thing will be a straw man of your position because you haven't mentioned needless suffering. Does that make sense? My response to the question, how many insects died for your vegan pizza, would be this. I honestly have no idea. Because I literally have no idea, and that's the truth. Like, if I knew, I'd tell you, but that information just isn't out there right now. Next, what they're going to ask you is, do you think that insect deaths are justified, but pig deaths aren't? You speciesist. How could you be so nonchalant about the holocaust of incident bugs just so that you can enjoy your cheeseless pizza? You absolute spineless piece of vegan shit. And by the way, this helps a non-vegan feel like they've gained the moral high ground because... They're cornering you into saying something like, insect deaths are justified so I can eat pizza. As this makes you look like you're dodging the question. Just so they can feel more comfortable with pigs being gassed in chambers for bacon. When I eat a steak, I know that the preparation of that steak involved the killing of an animal. Sure. When they eat their bread... No, they, me too, me too. Wait, wait a sec, wait, wait a sec. It's coming to Ashley. When you eat your bread, right, you know, because you've all just admitted this, that when you eat your bread, you know it involves the slaughter of animals. To me, there's absolutely no ideological difference between my decision-making when I eat my steak and yours when you eat your bread. I want you to tell me the difference. Go with it, though. Don't evade the question or give non-answers. Obviously, if you're OK with eating vegan pizza, then you're OK with insect deaths. So your answer should be yes. But... Here's the thing, if you're anything like me, this is because you think that industry deaths are okay. They suck, but I accept them. I accept that people are going to fall from heights in the construction industry or could get their limbs mangled in machinery. I also accept that there will be a death toll concerned with driving vehicles. A certain percentage of those deaths will actually be children. And if it's okay to continue driving, even when it's killing children, it's hard to see how insect deaths of pizza can't be okay as well. So do I think that industry and driving should be banned? No. Do I think that a world without transportation, manufacturing and technology bring greater net well-being, particularly the potential for greater net well-being in the future by virtue of the fact that by subtracting transportation, manufacturing and technology could reduce suffering? Nope. I think the potential suffering to well-being ratio from subtracting these things far weighs out the potential suffering from not being able to transport medicine and food by banning transport. The banning of manufacturing would mean that all labour-saving devices and appliances would have to be subtracted from society. So back to Victorian Britain we go and 
back to the way of life in the good old days. As Stephen Pinker puts it in his book Enlightenment Now, the many hours our grandmother spent pumping, canning, churning, pickling, curing, sweeping, waxing, scrubbing, wringing, sudsing, drying, stitching, mending, knitting, darning, and as they used to be reminded, slavering over a hot stove, working our fingers to the bone. So, I mean, the question can just be turned around and put back on them after you've conceded that the crop deaths uh, fall within your moral system, which is veganism, just by asking them, well, do you think that industry's deaths are immoral? Or you could say, should we ban industry because of the death toll it creates? If yes, then you just describe what will happen without industry. No supermarkets or cars and good luck trying to get your life-saving medication when there's no manufacturing or transport. If no, then why would insect deaths for food production be immoral when we literally accept this amount of children dying from car accidents a year in the UK alone just to be able to drop the kids off at school in the morning? So monocropping saves time and prevents the alternative, the batshit crazy concept of mass permaculture, where you know the workforce would have to come out from all the offices and warehouses to have to work the land and process crops by hand, ready to be walked to the handmade Victorian market where everyone can buy their shit. But in the future, you know, you'll have shaving foam and shampoo that reorders itself on Amazon the next day delivery because the containers will have the technology that detects when it's empty and it will send a report to be reordered. I don't see why agriculture wouldn't advance to a level where it creates nominal deaths to wildlife. Um, things like vertical farming are already here, but the concept is so new and expensive right now, which is literally what we used to say about mobile phones and the internet before they became affordable commodities. So, But listen, right, the world isn't going to get more ethical if we're not even going vegan yet. Why would the world care about crop deaths if they don't even care about bacon factory farms, chick holocaust industries, and baby calves having their throats sliced because people just want a drop of milk in their tea. It's the same kind of problem as when you try and learn to run before you can walk, or if you're trying to understand trigonometry before you can understand multiplication. You cannot appreciate nuanced grey areas about morality until you have first grasped that the holocaust of animals is wrong. <sighs> Sort your life out first before you start attacking others for trying to be consistent by matching their morals with their actions. So yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. It's been a bit of a rant, but uh, I can probably refine this rant a lot better. But I just wanted to share my perspective with you as I feel like I need to engage with you more. I don't really put out a lot of content because I overthink it. So, you know, this is just like a ranty video. But like and subscribe. If you like this video, please comment and let me know what you think of it. As ever, I'm reachable in the Ask Yourself Discord server if anyone wants to chat with me. And if you ever want to help me improve the frequency and quality of my uploads, then you can tip me at Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm-hmm.